Hey, what's up, peeps? It's Jake, uh, the fasting nomad. Here I am again with another video. Um, so I just wanted to make a little video about some progress I've made recently, and I was just kind of excited about it because I, you know, it's progress, you know? Anytime you move forward, then it's like, good job, <laughs> me. <laughs> As you know, in a previous video, I stated that my highest I ever was was 220 pounds. Uh, that was the highest I ever got, 221 pounds, I should say. Um, and it was terrible. It sucked. It was awful. Recently, I've been in the 195 to 200 range. Well, the last couple days, I've stuck to a new routine that I wanted to try. I did a little bit of research and I um, basically, anytime I drive fast, my kidneys will start hurting a little bit and then it'll go away once I drink water again um, or drink that snake juice with the baking soda and the um, uh, new salt in it so you get your sodium and your potassium. Um, and I did a little bit of research and there's a reason that your kidneys hurt is because it's trying to flush out all the toxins and there's a lot of buildup in there and the baking soda flushes it all out. And one site I looked at said that you should do it before and after a dry fast. So I've been doing that. I've been drinking like a glass of water with a tablespoon or a teaspoon, I should say. A tablespoon would probably be more than enough, but a teaspoon of baking soda before a dry fast and I'll give myself about two hours to drink some water like a two-hour window to drink some water drink that baking soda and um, generally speaking my kidneys feel way better than they usually do and I dry fasted for 24 22 hours say and then when that two-hour window comes up again break it with more water with the baking soda and repeat and I've been doing that for like a day and a half now and I'm down to 193 which is my personal best weight in the last like five years um 193.6 so yeah I'm really excited about that I'm gonna see how long I can go doing that um and it's it's basically just dry fasting majority of the time and rehydrating with the salts and the water and the baking soda and repeating so i'm gonna see how this goes uh i'll probably update you once i get down into the 180s um we'll see what's going on with that but anybody that has watched my video so far um thank you so much uh, feel free to click subscribe and i'll try and give you updates we'll try and figure out how to be a better youtuber try and uh make this a fun channel to be at give you tips tricks Maybe you can follow me on my life journey to 150 pounds or less. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Just a little update video. Um, maybe this could be like my fasting vlog series. This is episode one of my, my updates. Uh, the fasting vlogs. Fasting vlog episode one. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, tell me in the comments, what would you like to see from this channel? What would you be interested in? If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them in videos. And uh, yeah, I need some ideas for videos. So comment below. Um, with that being said, this has been The Fasting Nomad. I will see you in a few days for a brand new video. Peace out, guys.